Hey, what's up guys? It's Taylor here at Casone's RV, Mesa, Arizona. I'm here with Eddie again. It is pretty hot, so we're going to try to keep this video pretty quick. Um, this is a 36-foot country coach. It's the 360 Aspire. Um, it's got the 360 Cummins in it. It is um, it is 36 feet in length. It's got, uh, I think, two slide outs over here, one slide out over, over on the other side. Um, it does have 120,000 miles on it, but that's nothing to be scared of with that uh, diesel pusher. I mean, it is uh, almost 15 years old now, so that's to be expected in something like this. Um, we haven't washed it up or anything yet. We just got it in, wanted to do a video with you as soon as we could real quick um, and get pictures and stuff and get it online. We'll take some more pictures when it's all cleaned up and all that good stuff. Um, it's in pretty good condition. There's a few minor things here and there. Um, that need to be, there's a uh, vent lid for the hot water heater you'll see over on this side that we have to order and wait for that to get on the side of the RV. But other than that, it's in very good condition for its age. Um, and it's not very easy to run across a country coach that is of shorter size. Most country coaches are 40 feet, a lot of times more often than not, 42, 44 feet. Uh, Eddie just brought in a really nice country coach. It was one of our most watched videos of the 2005 um, the Alexander Valley that was very nice but most country coaches are around that range as far as 40 or more feet long so this is a shorter very nice quality coach that you can get into for a really good price the price will be on our website with all the information so let's just take a look at the outside see what we got we'll take a walk around here um, you got tan black and brown pretty um, simplistic color complex here on the outside we do have the uh, awning here over top of the door we've got an awning um, automatic awning <clears throat> over top of the uh, slide going all the way back about three-fourths of the way of the RV. Um, we do have some just storage um, compartments. We'll show you on the other side because they're already open over there as well, but got a really nice slide-out tray that goes all the way through on either side of the um, RV. We've got this uh, smaller slide up here, this uh, slide up in the front here. Um, just probably your battery compartment. Something? Oh, just storage back here. But uh, let's see. Yeah. This is your battery. Probably this is probably. Yeah, we got your batteries in that compartment there. We'll walk around on this side. Show you the other side. Got that country coach um, back there. We do have the tow bar on the back, um, ready for towing. Um, pretty same thing, simplistic on the other side here, similar, um, just that, in that other side of that slide out tray, we just have your, um, water systems in there for your plugins for your water and all that good stuff. We've got the country coach and spire here that lets you know what it is on the side, on either side of the coach here. It's definitely easy to tell, it took us a little bit less time to walk around that RV than the bigger one that we had. Um, shorter and um, 360 um, even though that is a lot of people um, I wouldn't say veer away from but you do have to have a shorter RV if you have a shorter RV and you have a 300 like a 32 or 33 foot RV 300 might be enough power having a 360 is probably not enough power for maybe some 40 footers depending upon the weight of them this is a much shorter this is a lot lighter so the 360 will be enough for you and you'll be able to pull um, pretty much any vehicle that you're looking to pull with it, um, other than anything super extremely heavy or a large boat, but you'll be able to pull what you're looking to pull with it. So. Let you guys head on inside, take the first look. So, um, pretty simplistic um, inside when it comes to the um, colors of the RV on the inside, nothing that jumps out and grabs you. Probably something pretty good for something that's older because it does um, look um, not necessarily more moderate, but it holds up against time as far as just having some simplistic um, drawers, brown in here, just kind of typical, um, you know, tile. You do have wood floor. Do you think, Eddie, that this wood floor has been replaced with carpet? I'm, yes. Yeah, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that where, because in, in the back bedroom you do still have carpet, so that's what I was thinking, that this piece up here that has been replaced um, with this new wood flooring, um, as opposed to having that carpet up here in the front. We do have a backup camera located right here for you. You've got your uh, gauge cluster up there, all your controls over there to the left hand side. You do have some automatic blinds up here in the front. 
you've got actually um, on this side of the setup a desk, and this one is what was in the RV originally. So you've got this uh, kind of desk set up here for this country coach. Um, I actually have a customer that was asking me for a diesel pusher with the desk. Not easy to find one. The Alexander Valley did have one. It actually, it's funny enough, finds it more often than not in country coaches. They have a lot of setups with uh, desk setups. So this does have the desk set up. Uh, you can throw whatever chair you're looking to throw in there, probably an office chair. Um, you do have the original sofa in here as well. You do have that full out, um, full size queen bed there, mattress. You've got the dinette here. You've just got another space here. You have your kitchen behind me here. You have a little extension that pops up here on the end. Um, you've got, let's see, three burner, uh, propane cooktop here, storage underneath. You do have a convection and microwave right above there. Um, you've got the Norco refrigerator, lots of room. Um, even though you're in 36 feet, you do have some really good space in here. You've got the double door, and um, it's a pretty big one. And you've got um, propane and electric, of course, on that. You've got your light switches, all your controls right here um, by the bathroom. We do have shutoffs for the bathroom to the bedroom, so if I can uh, do this without looking dumb, I don't know. There we go. So here's your shutoff for the bathroom, and then we have another one to the bedroom. And we'll show you this uh, bathroom. Even though we're at 36 feet, they really manage actually well to put you a, a really nice huge shower in here with a bench seat and we'll have Eddie walk around over on this side to show you that. Um, it's definitely not small by any means so they could do give you a pretty good space. We also have your toilet and sink right in there across from that. We'll let Eddie take a shot of that as well. And then we have your other clothes off here as well. So you do have these little locks on here that come down and drop down and close up. All right, guys, so pop back it in here in the living room. I did get the video cut off because uh, my phone actually overheated because it was just too hot, but um, it's actually good because I did go inside to look up a few things and of course actually took a look at that back motor. So they had a couple of options. This is a 400 cat as opposed to a 400 Cummins or a 360 Cummins. There was both of those options with that year and the Inspire. We did bring in a few RVs. So just wanted to clarify that for you guys, which is even better. It's a great mistake because it's a lot more power. A 436 foot diesel is a whole lot of power and also it's very convenient again for, um, as I always mentioned in a lot of my videos, for you know just getting into different areas. We do have a washer dryer combination back here as well in this back closet. And then we have storage up top here as well. Um, in the back really nice slider with this back closet space back here with lots of space If you guys have any questions about this RV there will be pictures all the information and the price on our website at www.cassonesrv.com If you'd like to reach me there you can give me a call ask for me ask for Eddie uh, You can also reach me on my email. I will leave that down in the description below as always. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time